Hello, my name is Tyler Carter, and this is my American Culture Reaction video. Um, my first depiction of the body ritual among Nasarima, written by Horace Minor, uh, runs along the lines of depicting the American society. It teaches us how we can gain an understanding of the similarities and differences um, in society that Americans share with Nasarima, going along the lines of uh, first and third world countries and their differences and similarities. Um, the article goes on describing that Americans do things similarly to the Nasarima people and their society, but their over our ways are over-exaggerated in a way. Uh, in the article, describes how the Nasarima society uh, has a leader with big accomplishments under his belt, and they have de designated medicine men and holy mouth men. Um, so going back to the leader, it represents the American society in a way because we also have a leader, the president, obviously, and. They usually, our president usually has accomplishments and things that the American society can look up to and be satisfied with that person representing our country. Um, another example is the medicine men and the holy mouth men. They're very similar to our versions of these roles in the American society as we have doctors and dentists. Um, their ways in the Nasrim society are very unrefined and very ineffective as most of the medicine men end up killing or very seriously injuring these people um, going off of their old ways that haven't been proven effective they just have been doing this their whole existence so they they live by it um, yeah personally I thought the methods of using the potions and keeping them in a shrine after they've been used is rather odd. We as, we as a society uh, have methods that are similar to that, but our methods are actually backed up by evidence and years and years of developing and perfecting these practices. Um, next, an event that might be viewed differently by someone uh, if they lived somewhere other than the United States is Halloween. We as Americans see this as normal, but to someone else, uh, that hasn't experienced Halloween in the U.S. might think that running around communities, knocking on doors, and asking asking for candy, uh, dressed up as characters or social or public figure, might seem rather odd in their eyes. Halloween is an is a historical example of a cultural movement of sorts. Uh, that it was spread down. It was spread by the original people that practiced it, moving and passing down these uh, these practices while implementing them into their lives through generations. Halloween was originally a ritual to pay respects to the gain uh, and to gain the favor of the spirits of those who had passed away in the previous year. Um, the idea of costumes and disguises uh, originates back 2000 years for the use of disguising themselves uh, from the spirits so that they don't recognize them and their faces. Um, since then, Halloween has kind of taken a turn for the worst, and it doesn't, it doesn't really, um, it, it contradicts itself compared to the original meaning of Halloween. Um, nowadays, we, it's more of a holiday, and we dress up and go knock on people's doors and say trick-or-treat, uh, which is basically the opposite of uh, the original meaning of Halloween. Um, but yeah, according to history.com, um, it hasn't taken uh, a turn for the a turn for better, I guess. It kind of contradicts its original purpose of gaining the respect of the dead. Now we kind of use the ghosts and spirits um, to scare people or to create effects. And um, a good example of something that represents Halloween is haunted houses. So originally it was to gain the gain the favor and respect of the spirits of those who passed away but now we kind of use those spirits in a very contradicting way and we use them to scare people and um put them in these haunted houses uh with these with dim lighting and devilish screams blaring throughout the house um in conclusion halloween is one example of an event that can be misconstrued across cultures and language barriers while there are also so many other um, examples 
of these uh, of these barriers across the societies of third and first world countries, such as the Nasarima Society and the U.S. Society.